everybody, welcome to a Friday morning mic talk. Glad that you're with me. I have not had coffee yet, so if I seem inc incoherent, then I am. I'll find some. I'll find a cinnamon roll. That's what we do on Fridays. Sarah and I are on a road trip down to see some old friends down in uh, Kentucky, and uh, we're looking forward, uh, working on the sermon, and uh, looking forward to preaching it on Sunday. We'll, we'll say more about that tomorrow, but we love you guys, and uh, hope that you're doing well on this Friday. T today I want to talk about um, something that James spends a lot of time. James remembers the brother of Jesus. He writes the book uh, near the uh, end of the New Testament. James was, uh, James the Just is historically how we know him. He was known for prayer. In fact, he was called Old Camel Knees, according to history, because he prayed so much his knees were kind of, I guess, uh, calloused and malformed. So um, that's James, the brother of Jesus, the literal brother of Jesus, half uh, brother through Joseph, uh, Jesus' earthly father. And he was a leader in the church in Jerusalem. He was the elder statesman, and um, he became that. And he has a lot to say about how we talk, about our tongue. So today I'm going to read this, and, uh, and, and it's not meant to be discouraging. I want to give you a, a mental image and a visual to use today about the things you say, all right? Um, he says in verse uh, 5 uh, of chapter 3 of James, James 3, 5, so also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and setting on fire, uh, set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast, a bird and reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no human can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it, we bless our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening, both fresh and salt water? What a really powerful and convicting word from James about our tongues, uh, the, and he's specifically not talking about the tongue itself. The tongue, the, the instrument that we taste with and that we speak with, is not really uh, bad in and of itself. It's the words that the, that the tongue comes with. I wonder today if he were writing, if he would talk about our thumbs because of our texting and tweeting and uh, posting and all the social media. But the point st stands true and remains the same on this Friday um, it's really hard to control what we say about other people. It's really, it's really hard um, to not say mean things, to not use your tongue to curse. And, um, and I'm, I'm both encouraged and also discouraged by this, this passage because the encouragement is, is that nobody can tame the tongue. James, James has said it. He's like, man, we can tame all kinds of animals, but nobody can fully control the tongue. And uh, so what do we do with that? Well, what we do with that is we kind of give it over to God and say, God, by your Holy Spirit today, and this is a good prayer for us today on this Friday, help me say things that are good, uh, keep my tongue pure, keep my tongue filled with praises. He gives us a hint on a couple of things to do. One of the things that uh, he says earlier in his writing, James 1, he says everyone should be slow to speak. Uh, and that's a good thing for us to learn in this culture. We, we all like to express ourselves and talk a lot. And so one, one way to keep from saying things we regret is don't talk too soon. Be slow to speak. Another thing, of course, is silence. Uh, that's why people sometimes practice silence retreats. And, of course, um, you can practice saying good things. In fact, that's the encouragement today. That's the image I want to leave with you today is this image that he says, can out of the same mouth a believer, um, somebody who believes in Jesus Christ, come blessing and cursing? We bless our Lord and Father, so we sing praises to God, we say, yes, we love Jesus, and then we curse people who are made in His likeness. And then He gives us this great metaphor, and this is the metaphor for the day. We, your mouth is a spring. Can a spring bring forth both fresh and salt water? Just consider it today. That's to, just think about this. Uh, is the stuff coming out of your mouth, is it fresh water? Is it refreshing? Can people drink it? Can they be nourished by it? Or is the stuff coming out of your mouth, is your tongue spewing forth salt water, which is water that you can't drink and is not refreshing? Uh, 
maybe a little complicated thinking today on Friday. I don't know. And maybe I need some coffee. But I read this passage and it struck me and I wanted to share it with you. Today, um, let's work at letting the Holy Spirit control our tongue, being fresh water and not salt water. God bless you guys. Happy Friday.